guys welcome back to the channel and to this age of sigma progress update and as you can see lucy has been painting furiously and the stormcast army is expanding quite significantly so we've played a few games she's focusing on painting up a thousand points and she's learning the rules for those i haven't gotten around to painting any of the blood bound up yet unfortunately but i'm getting better with the demons we've played a few practice games Big shout out to Durham Raiders for we went down there last week and played a couple of games against each other just to familiarise ourselves with the rules so that when we do start filming games it's going to be a lot easier. So, as you can see, like I said, Lucy's expanded the force quite significantly and she's been painting. Let's have a little bit of a closer look. These are the Liberators that she's painted up and she's gone for crystals on the base with a bit of snow on there as well. And we've got a unit of, I want to say Ret Reviewers, two star soul mace in there, Lord Relictor. And the, those guys are from the start set, obviously we did expand their Ret Reviewers there. The first box of Judicators are built and painted, Lucy absolutely loves these models. And we've got another box that she's going to be building very, very soon. We've got another unit of Liberators there with a great hammer. And Lord Celestine on Drakoff, and I do love this model. I think she's done a fantastic job. The bases, just with that little hint of purple glitter in, just really make things sparkle. And of course, all of the hammers do have glitter on the tips, as any female gamer should have. Expanding the force, we've got the, I want to say, Knight Venator. Lucy really liked the eagle on this. But she went for him over the Knight Azeroth. Got a unit of Decimators and the Prosecutors from the starter box. Big shout out to James McHugh from Three Point Circle because he actually sent us a box of Liberators for the cost of postage. He bought some, didn't like painting them, and so he's passed them on to us. So James, thank you very much indeed. As you can see, we've kitted these guys out with dual swords. And one of the, uh, I want to say halberds that was left over from decimators, Lucy's used that to create essentially the great sword model. Then she bought a Lord, I want to say Castellant, uh, with a Griffhound. Tom currently has the Griffhound as he's going to go to town with his little, I don't even want, I can't remember what it's called. Spray gun, air gun, airbrush. Um, to basically get some nice blending going on there. So shout out to Tom for that. Also got another shout out to Mr. Shane Sanderson. You've probably seen him posting in a lot of the groups. He lives local to Warhammer World and he was coming up to uh, the northeast to visit some family. And very, very kindly picked Lucy up a Knight Quest or uh, exclusive to Warhammer World. So like I said, a massive shout out to Shane for that as well. So this is the force that Lucy's got. Um, with the other unit adjudicators, and I think the errant, it's just under 2,000 points, but obviously there's five heroes there. Uh, I believe you can only take four. Um, but this is what she's going to be focusing on. We're going to be doing 1,000 point battle report shortly, as you can see. She's nearly finished the first 1,000 points. Uh, I need to get a move on with that Corn Bloodbound, because even though there's like 30 models in the box set, it's only like 580 points. So I definitely need to get a move on. but. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of an update video. Hopefully there should be some battle reports coming very, very soon. But yeah, the game is exciting, it's fast paced, and so far we've thoroughly enjoyed it. Please let us know what you want to see, possibly in both armies, uh, to expand them. Uh, what type of games you want to see, um, and what you feel should be in the lists. Thanks very much for watching guys, see you next time.